topic is about sum or a difference of two cubes. Where in the variables, when you say cube, a variable should have a divisible by three exponent, like x cube, x to the sixth power, x to the ninth power. And for the numbers, a number should be multiplied by itself three times. For example, we have one. The factors of 1 is 1 times 1 times 1. Or you can write this as 1 times 1 squared. Next, 8. So the factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2. Or we can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 times 4 is also 8. And then 27. The factors of 27 are 3 times 3 times 3. Or we can write this one as 3. And then you multiply the two factors, 3 times 3, which is 9. So 3 times 9 is 27. For this example, we have y cubed minus 27. This is an example of difference of two cubes because of the operation minus. So the factors of y cubed are y times y times y. Or we can write it, this one as y times y squared. And then the factors of 27 are 3 times 3 times 3. Or we can write this one as 3 times 9. The answer for this one is always a binomial and a trinomial. So for the binomial, we will just get one factor from each terms and then we will write them as a binomial. And then you copy the sign of the given. So here the sign is minus. Next, you write the remaining factor of the first term as the first term of the trinomial, the remaining factor of the second term as the last term of the trinomial, and then we just need to multiply the binomial y times 3, that is 3y. This one will be our middle term, 3y. And then, the sign of the middle term is always the opposite of the sign of the binomial. So here we have minus, so the opposite of minus is plus. And then the last term should always be positive. So here is the answer for this example. We have the second example, 8 x cubed minus 64. So still, this is a difference of two cubes. First, you have to factor the numerical coefficient 8. So that is 2 times 2 times 2. And then the variable x cubed, x times x times x. Or we can write this one as 2x times 2 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. And then the factors of 64 are 4 times 4 times 4. Or we can write this one as 4 times 16. And then we will have a binomial, two terms, a trinomial, three terms. You get the first factor of each term, 2x and 4, and then you copy the sign of the given. Use the remaining factors as the first term and the last term. And then you multiply the binomial 2x times 4, that is 8x. And then... This will be the middle term. 
our binomial is negative, so the middle term in the trinomial is positive. And then the last term is always positive. So if you can observe, if you're given this difference, the binomial is minus and the rest of the trinomial are all positive. So this is the final answer for this example. The next example, we, we have 27m to the 4th minus 8m n to the 6th power. So, so what can you observe with this example? m to the 4th is not a cube. And then m in the second term is not also cube. So in here, we need to use CMF first. So 27 and 8 cannot be divided by the same number. So we will deal with the variables m to the fourth and m and to the sixth power. So which m has the lowest exponent? So we will divide it by m m so this will become m to the fourth divided by m 4 minus 1 that is m cubed and then here we will cancel m it will become 1 and then copy n to the sixth power so our answer here will become the cmf m and then parentheses of the remaining number with the variables. So we will factor this one. So we will factor this one. So we have m times 27 m cubed minus 8 n to the 6th power. So the factors of 27 are 3 times 3 times 3. The factors of m cubed are m times m times m. Or we can write this one as 3m times 9m squared. And then the factors of 8 are 2 times 2, times 2. And to the 6, so you just need to divide 6 by 3. So that is n squared. n squared. n squared. Or we can write this one as 2 n squared times 4 n to the 4th power. So we will write the binomial and a trinomial. So the first factors of the Two terms will be our binomial. And then we will copy the sign of the given. And then the remaining factor of the first term will be the first term of the trinomial. The remaining factor of the second term will be the last term. And then we will multiply the binomial 3m times 2n squared, that is 6, copy the variables. So this one will become our middle term. And then since this is difference, so the binomial is difference or minus, and then the trinomial are all positive. So then don't forget to write the first factor m so this is the final answer the next example one plus eight k cube so this example is a sum of two cubes because of the operation plus so the factors of one are one times one times one or we can write this one as 1 times 1 squared or 1 times 1 that is still 1. And then the factors of 
8 r2 times 2 times 2. And then the factors of k cubed are k times k times k. Or we can write this one as 2k times 2k times 2k, that is 4k squared. Next, we will have a binomial and a trinomial. So you write the, fact, the first factors of the two terms as the binomial, 1 and 2k, and then copy the sign of the given plus, and then the remaining factors will be the first and the last term of the trinomial. And then you multiply the binomial, 1 times 2k, that is still 2k, and then you use the opposite sign of the binomial. Our binomial is positive, so here we will use negative. And then remember, the last term is always positive. So here is the final answer of this example. 5 age plus 40 age k cube. So if you can observe, 5 and 40 are not perfect cube, but they are divisible by 5. So we can get CMF as 5 and then age is common from both terms. So we have 5 age. We will divide both terms by 5 age. So 5 age divided by 5 age will be cancelled and it will become 1. Remember, if there is no remaining term to write, you need to write 1. Copy the sign of the given, and then 40 divided by 5, that is 8, and then h divided by h, that will become 1, so you don't need to write this since there are still remaining terms, and then copy k cube. Don't forget to write your CMF beside your remaining factor. So here now, we can factor this one. Since this is a sum of two cubes, this one is just the same with our previous example. So we have binomial and a trinomial the first factor of 1 is 1 and then the first factor of 8 k cube is 2 k and then copy the sign the remaining factors of 1 are 1 times 1 so 1 times 1 is still 1 and then the remaining factors of 8 k cube are 2 k times 2 k that will give you 4 k squared and then the middle term will be the product of this one 1 times 2k that is 2k and then the opposite sign of the binomial is minus and then the last term should always be positive and don't forget to write your cmf so here is the final answer for this example